Hey, what's up? I'm Brad Wilson from over at the Jackson County ISD EdTech team in Jackson, Michigan, and I just wanted to help you get Twitter set up on your iPad so that you can start connecting, communicating, and building your PLN. Take a look. First thing we're going to do is go into your settings and make sure you have Twitter installed. So over on the left, look for the Twitter icon, and then click install if you don't have the app downloaded yet. Once you've installed Twitter, we're going to set up your account. So click create new account, put in your name, your email address to register yourself. Now your username is going to be how people view you on Twitter. It uses the at symbol, and that's going to be your handle. So pick something that's unique to you, that represents you, that you're proud of, something that's appropriate. Once you've installed Twitter and signed up for an account, you're all ready to go. And the cool thing is that Twitter is integrated throughout the iPad. So we're going to talk about some different ways that you can use that with your practices. And also notice that you can have more than one Twitter account on your device so that if you're using an account for personal things or for a classroom account, you can separate those out. Let's head into the Twitter app for the first time. Now to begin with, everything's going to be blank because we haven't followed anyone. Let's search in Twitter using what's called a hashtag to see if we can find some content of interest. Now a hashtag is the pound sign or the number sign, and Twitter content gets aggregated or organized around a hashtag when people include it in their tweets. So when we search for EdChat using the hashtag, we're going to find educators from all over the world that have included that tag in their tweets. Here's an account that has used that hashtag, and if they look interesting, I'm going to follow them. Now as soon as I start following people by pressing the follow button, Twitter's going to start to lead me to more people who they think might be worth following. So when I check out people's profiles, I'm just going to look at some of their tweets, I'm going to look at maybe how many followers they have, how many tweets they've sent out, and if it looks like somebody that's worthwhile, I'm going to press the follow button. If that person ends up being annoying or not valuable to your network, you can always unfollow them later. Now that I've followed some people, there's a steady stream of tweets that has shown up on my home tab. I can see that this organization tweeted out a link to an article. There's all sorts of articles, blog posts, tools, and websites that are being shared all the time on Twitter. Now one way to start to contribute to the network is to endorse a tweet by doing what's called a retweet. When I press retweet, I'm basically reposting that tweet to my feed. So that was my first tweet. It was a retweet of what someone else did. Now since I found the article interesting that they posted, I'm going to actually go in and look at who else is following this organization. This is another good way to find people to follow. I can look for people that maybe teach the same thing that I teach or are from the same area that I'm from or that share similar interests. Now the next way to contribute, and perhaps the most powerful, is actually to engage in conversation with people on Twitter. So when you find an interesting tweet from a person, what you can do is you can reply to that person directly using their at handle. So I see that this person has something that they've shared that has benefited me. So I'm going to reach out to that person by responding to them in a tweet and including their handle right at the beginning of the tweet. Don't be discouraged if you don't get any replies or interactions on your Twitter account right at the beginning. Generally, it might take a little while for you to follow 40 or 50 people and then get a few people to follow you before you start to see those interactions. But keep following people, keep searching, and keep reaching out. Remember to use a hashtag for common interests and also include other people's handles using the at symbol to get their attention. Now, it's completely okay to just lurk for a while. Check out what other people are posting, kind of get the lay of the land, learn the lingo, and just be benefit from all the resources that are out there. But remember that ultimately, the power in Twitter are going to be the connections that you make with other people. So before you go any further, let's go into your account and make sure your profile is set up so that people can understand who you are and why you're on Twitter. Now don't be afraid to add a photo that represents yourself, or use an avatar, something besides the egg. You don't want to be an egghead. Next, add some information about yourself. What do you teach? What do you like to do? Something that other people can connect with. You can add a website, consider adding at least your state location, and make sure you have at least your first name. Okay, so Twitter starts to get really fun when you begin to share and contribute content to your network because you know other people are going to benefit from it. Think about sharing a photo from your classroom of something interesting using your camera roll. Press edit 
and then use the built-in Twitter functionality. Now think about how easy and powerful this would be to share the story of great things happening in your classroom. And consider including a hashtag that other people are following so that they might be inspired by your picture. Now what about if you find an interesting resource or a website that could be of value to other people? In Safari, Twitter is again built in, so you can just press the share button and send out your tweet and it's going to automatically attach that link so that other people can click on it and they would be able to easily find it. Don't forget to reach out to others, use questions, and encourage dialogue on your tweets. I hope this quick walkthrough got you up and running with Twitter on your iPad. As you keep playing with it, I know you'll find lots of ways to make Twitter work for you no matter what device you're on. Don't be afraid to let it change the way you learn. Keep reaching out and connecting and growing your network. Amazing things will happen. To find out more about our team, visit edtech.jcisd.org and check out 21 Things for iPads for lots more learning activities for teachers. Have a great day.